team been lifted by these uh, these last couple of victories? Would you say? I think them victories probably speak for themselves. You know, going to tough places. You know, and getting results, and especially playing against Wolves on on the telly. We haven't had a good run on, on TV for a while, you know. And um, for the last to win the last two out of two, you know, it lifts us in high spirits, ready for Leeds. You clearly had a better performance against Reading. Were they that much worse than Wolves, or was that a whole City team playing better, would you say? Yeah, I'd probably say a bit of both, you know, because um, every game in the Championship is different. But um, I think they, credit to Reading, they started really, really quick. And it would have been hard for them to, to keep that tempo up throughout the whole game. And as the game, you know, um, grew on, you know, we, we got stronger in depth and as a team. And, and once we got the first goal, we always knew we was, we was going to score again. What do you make of Leeds United this season? Because they did beat you earlier on in the campaign, didn't they? That's right. Um, do you remember it? They've gone through ups and downs, I think, you know, under um, their manager, Steve Evans. But he's brought in a couple of lads and he's strengthened the squad. And sometimes you don't know what you're going to get playing against Leeds. But you know that they're going to work hard because I've I've had many encounters against Steve Evans, you know, and all of his teams they do the same thing, you know, which is press the ball and, and and give it their all. So we know it's going to be a tough game, and plus everyone knows it's a, it's a big derby, so there's something to prove, and especially we're at home now as well. So you say that you have history with Steve Evans, presumably that was when he was at Rotherham manager. You played at presumably Orient and at Brentford and teams like that. Yeah, I've had, I've had a lot of encounters with him, you know. Over the over the couple of seasons, you know, but it's all it's all friendly at the end of the day. So hopefully we can we can win the game tomorrow. Can I ask you about you and how you feel you've progressed this season as an individual? Yeah, of course you can. Certainly, um, I feel that it's it's been a it's been a massive step up for me. You know, to come from where I've come from. You know, and um, playing the Brentford team last year. You know, when I was always one of the the first names on the team sheet. You know, and and, and I was credited. Whereas here, you know, it's lack of have stepped into a bigger bigger pond with with bigger fish and, and I'm kind of a small fish here but I felt like I've I've taken it in my stride, you know, and and, and settled in very, very well and, and and as the game's gone I've got better and better. And, and that's the main thing. You've obviously settled into the team really well. And you get picked so that's evidence of that. Have you settled into the area well? Into, um, <laughs> into life in Yorkshire? funny enough, I live a little bit out because obviously, you know, my, my girlfriend works um, near Halifax, so we, we, we've moved in together and I live, I live just, just past Weatherby. So I'm not, I'm not really settled in properly, but it's, it's, still, it's still different to being down in the big smoke, which is London. But I really like it up here, you know, it's, 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 everything's more cultural, you know, and, and everyone's more relaxed and laid back. And, and driving in the morning, the views, the views are unbelievable. And I go through like South Cave and whatnot, so, so it's nice. Well, there we are. There's a great testament to the tourist authority in South Cave. Uh, it is nice, though. I agree with you. Um, and it, just looking ahead, if I may, because um, you're allowed to, I'm going to let you look ahead to Tuesday night because obviously it's Brentford. That must be a game. Well, yeah, you'll have chalked it down for the original match, and obviously you've had to change it, but you must be looking forward to that one. Yeah, it's always going to be good seeing my old, um, my old teammates, you know, and especially it would be even better if we can, if we can get a win because um, as long as we can win our last... The last four games, you know, it puts us. You never know where it's going to put us because there's going to be slip-ups at the um, at the top of the league. I think for sure. And and for me, it's just I, I got to take it as another game because it's more important that we get the win. You know, like I said before, ho hoping that there's slip-ups in the top three. You know, and, and and you never know with the championship we could sneak into the top two. Sure. And if, even if you didn't make it into the automatic promotion playoffs, you do need momentum, don't you, to go into the playoffs? Brighton clearly have it. So you need a few more wins, don't you, to prove to everybody that you're in a bit of form? Yeah, no, sometimes, because I think with Norwich last year, I don't think they went into the playoffs with much momentum, you know, but in the end of the day, their, um, their courage and their experience shone through in the final, you know, and, and they won it comfortably. And I think that the, the um, experience we have in this, in this team, you know, is, is, is unbelievable. And, and on the day, it's just a matter of luck, you know, and, and at the moment we have that on our side and, and I think we've, should be fine. Thank you, Moses. Moses, yes. when you go through a bad run, there's, there's never an easy way out of it. But do you feel like the, the team's turning the corner with, with results in the last seven points from the last nine? Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of teams are going to have tough spells, you know, as we have, you know. And unfortunately, we had ours at the, at the wrong time, whereas the likes of Burnley and, and Borough, they were stuttering towards January, you know, and, and, and Christmas, where we was 
high sailing and, and beating teams 3-0, you know. And um, it just shows what this league's about and, and you can't really take your foot off you can't really take your foot off the gas um, like we have in, in previous weeks. But I think now we've we've found our winning formula back, you know, and like I said before, we need to take that into the into the playoffs if, if that's where we end up and, and go through that way. For the Wolves game, the manager said um, he sensed a lack of confidence across the team. Does that apply to you? Do you, do you, do you feel low in confidence? Yeah, I think you know the um, the results are, are there, you know, on paper, and, and and it does affect affects me subconsciously, you know, like we've not we've not picked up the best results that we could have picked up, you know, and it's put us in a position where none of us really thought we'd have been in, and and it does play a big part, you know, but at the end of the day, that that's football, and we have to deal with that pressure and, and to play at the top, the Premiership players they have that pressure week in week out, you know, like if you look at the likes of Leicester and, and Spurs now, one one game's crucial. And, and if they lose that game, you know that that's it. Spurs are winning the league, so it's that's just the profession we're in. Because it felt like a, a tense atmosphere the Wolves game, didn't it? it you know, for for backwards pass when it, you know the crowd were on on the players' backs. But I guess a, a game against Leeds is everyone's united, hopefully. Yeah, you know the fans want to come and see exciting football. You know, and and if the ball's going backwards. A lot more than it's going forward. Uh, forward, then they're going to try and get on our backs, you know. But I think this week the atmosphere is going to be right up there with probably the, the best all season because it, it means so much to to the whole city fans, and it does mean to, to Leeds as well. And, and I think they're travelling numbers, and hopefully we can give them something to cheer about and, and get a couple of goals.